Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to see you. It's great to see you. I'm Phil the Storyteller and I'm here with my friend. And I'm Will, a music teacher from Brill Primary School in Camden, London. And today, Will brought a box round, a box of instruments. It's here in front of us. There's this, the Santa Claus instrument. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. Look at it. It's a frog. And you know it's a frog by the way it sounds. What's this? I like that. I like that frog. It's a croaking frog. So I show another instrument. Yeah, what have you got? Well, this is an instrument that also has an animal on. Can you see what that animal is? I know. It's an elephant. I wonder if it makes an elephanty sound. Let's listen. I like that. It's kind of a snaky sound it's as well. It's not really it? like an elephant, is it? But it does have an elephant on. Look. I like that. What else you got? Oh my. Look at that. It's a lizard, and the lizard is on top, I think, of a turtle, and the turtle has got someone coming out the back of the turtle. What is that, Will? It's a, it's a very interesting instrument. In fact, like you said, there are two creatures. It's actually two instruments. It's two ocarinas on top of each other. One ocarina on top, one ocarina underneath. Like so if I play the top ocarina, let's listen to the sort of sound the top ocarina makes. And then let's listen to So, the ocarina on top has some high-pitched sounds, and the ocarina on the bottom has some low-pitched sounds. Can you show me high pitch up here and low pitch down here? And, like a lot of instruments that play different notes, we can make little tunes. Shall I make a little mm, tune? That's like somebody walking. That's I'm like sorry. somebody going on a journey. Isn't it? It is. Let's listen to it again. So what's a journey? Now, a journey is when we go from one place to another place. But how long can a journey be? It could just be from downstairs to upstairs. That's a journey. That's true. Well, can I tell a story? Can I tell a story? Okay. Um, oh, can you play your instrument when this character goes on a journey? Yes. Now, this character was a rabbit. A really small rabbit, what you call a bunny rabbit. And a bunny rabbit you can hold in your hands. And this bunny rabbit, he was only very small. He'd never been out of the rabbit hole. He was in isolation, <laughs> like you. Now, the rabbit and mum came and said, now listen to me, rabbit, would you like to go outside? And he said, no, I don't want to go outside, mum, I don't want to. What's outside? Well, mum said, outside is 
everything that's not in this rabbit hole. Ooh, said the little rabbit. He was curious, but he was scared. So mum said, hold my hand, little rabbit, hold my hand. And the little rabbit. the rabbit went up through the darkness and the rabbit then saw a very very small light and the light got bigger and bigger and bigger every time the rabbit took another step the light was outside the noises from outside started coming down the rabbit hole there were strange noises. And when the little rabbit got to the entrance of the rabbit hole, the little rabbit looked out. There was the green field. And the green field was full of beautiful, luscious, sweet, crispy grass. The rabbit looked up to the sky. <laughs> it's so big. The sky went all the way around the world. And the rabbit said, Mum, can I go and play? Mum said, you go and play, but remember, your friends. The rain is your friend, and the wind is your friend. So the little rabbit went outside and started to play. Let's hear him play. <laughs> he marched around the field, he played in the grass, he rolled and he tumbled, he fell. Up the tunnel the rabbit went through the darkness, and the rabbit then saw a very, very small light. And the light got bigger and bigger and bigger. Every time the rabbit took another step, the light was outside. The noises from outside started coming down the rabbit hole. There were strange noises and when the little rabbit got to the entrance of the rabbit hole, the little rabbit looked out. There was the green field, and the green field was full of beautiful, luscious, sweet, crispy grass. The rabbit looked up to the sky. <laughs> it's so big! The sky went all the way around the world, and the rabbit said, Mum, can I go and play? Mum said, you go and play, but remember, your friends, the rain is your friend, and the wind is your friend. So the little rabbit went outside and started to play. Let's hear him play. He marched around the field, he played in the grass, he rolled and he tumbled, he fell down and got up again. That's how you play in the grass. You run, you fall down, you get up again. Oh, but the rabbit looked through the hedge and towards the black curtain of trees and saw another creature. The rabbit wanted to make friends. Hello, the rabbit said to the other creature, and the other creature said, Hello. Well, said the rabbit, you look really nice. I like you. I like your long black gloves. I like your red coat. I like your bushy tail with the white. 
I like your long, beautiful face and your green eyes and your sharp teeth and your long, sharp ears. Why don't you come over here? little rabbit said the new creature and the rabbit said okay i'm going to come over to you no creature oh good said the new creature all of a sudden something happened to the rabbit something fell down from the sky and hit him on the head What's that? said the rabbit. Something's falling down and hitting me on the head. It's cold and it's wet. And then something started to push the little rabbit to ruffle his fur. said the rabbit. My fur's being ruffled. I'm sorry, new friend. I'm not going to play with you now. I'm going to go down the rabbit hole to my mom because I don't like being hit by wet stuff and I don't like being blown over by invisible things. The creature was very, very disappointed. <laughs> Well, the little rabbit ran, 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 ran downstairs to Mum and said, Mum, I'm fed up because when I was going to play with my new friend, all the rain came down and wet me and the wind blew me. I don't like it. Oh, said Mum, your new friend. What did your new friend look like? Oh, he had long black gloves. He had lovely red fur. He had a bushy tail, Mum, with a tip at the end, long face, needle-sharp teeth, and big ears. <gasps> Mum took the little rabbit and said, Little rabbit, little rabbit, you must, must, must never go near that creature, ever. That creature was a... Can you guess what the creature was? Well, Little Rabbit, he made sure he didn't go to that creature again. And he made sure that the rain was always a friend to the rabbit. And the wind was always a friend to the rabbit. Will, yes. now we do the rabbit walking again. Did you like him when he was walking? Well, that was a story about a rabbit. You are like the rabbit. You're in your rabbit hole now. And what I want you to do is look out of the window. See if you can see any people. And if you see people walking along, and if you see people striding down the road, make up a story about them. Just like Will and I made up a story about that little rabbit. Will, is there anything you want them to do? Yeah, you're talking about things that you can see. What can you hear when you look outside? Can you hear the wind or the rain? Can you hear any cars or anything else? Maybe you can find something in your house that will make the same sounds that you can hear out there. And if there's someone else who can help you, one person could make wind, another person could make rain, and you can put that together and make your own music. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. So it's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. And goodbye from me, Will the Music Teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.